Okay, this is an introduction to my book, The Chances of Winning Kino by Carlo Di Carlo on Amazon. It sells for $2.99 as an ebook, and it also is available on your Kindle Unlimited for free with a Kindle Unlimited membership. And it will tell you, it will give you a statistical formula to tell you the chances of winning at Kino. So let's get started with reading parts of the book, and then I'll let you explore further if you decide to purchase the book. Um, basically, in Kino, um, you start with, there are 80 numbers to choose from, number 1 to 80, and you choose 10 numbers. 20 numbers out of the 80 are randomly selected by a machine or a computer. And for 10 spot Kino, if you can correctly match 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10 numbers out of the 10 you choose out of the 20 selected by the computer, then you win. So I'm going to show you in this book the probability of winning with 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10 numbers chosen in different scenarios in this book. So we need to understand the formula that is used, the statistical formula which is called the hypergeometric formula. Okay, so probability of A is the probability of A occurring right, P of A as a, to, to represent probability. Here are the variables in the formula. Capital G is the good winning numbers possible to choose from. Little g is the good winning numbers chosen. Big B is the bad losing numbers possible to choose from. Little b is the bad losing numbers chosen, and capital T is the total numbers possible to choose from. Little t is the total numbers chosen, where good numbers possible plus bad numbers possible equals total numbers possible, and good numbers chosen, g plus b equals t. Good numbers chosen plus bad numbers chosen equals total numbers chosen. All the numbers you choose are either good or bad, so that represents the total chosen. Probably win the Kino lottery is probably get G numbers, little g good numbers, from 1 to 80, where G can be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10. So the hypergeometric equation is actually G choose G, big G choose little g, times big B choose little b, over capital big T choose little t and that's the probability you win the lottery well, what is what does this mean so g choose g is g factorial over little g factorial times big g minus little g factorial where g factorial is the number of ways of ordering g things g choose g is the number of ways of choosing little g things out of capital g things and for instance big b choose little b is the number of ways of choosing little b things out of capital B things. While zero factorial is the number of ways of ordering zero things, how many ways are there of doing that? Just one way, there's just zero things. We just label that as one for zero factorial by default. One factorial, there's one way of ordering one thing. If you've got an apple, you just have an apple, and that's one ordering. If you have two things, an apple and banana, A and B, there are two ways of ordering them, apple, banana, or banana, apple. So two factorial is two times one, which is two. Three factorial, apple, banana, carrot, there are three things, A, B, C, apple, banana, carrot. You can order them as apple, banana, carrot, apple, carrot, banana, banana, apple, carrot, banana, carrot, apple, carrot, apple, banana, or carrot, banana, apple. So 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. 4 factorial, same logic, you can try it out for yourself. In general, 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 24 ways of ordering 4 things. n factorial is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times 2 times 1. In general, that's the rule for n factorial for any value of n. Probably winning the jackpot. The Kino jackpot with 10 out of 20 numbers. If you get all 10 of your numbers chosen out of the 20 winning numbers chosen by the computer or machine, you win the jackpot. So good winning numbers possible to choose from is 20. 
20 numbers are randomly generated by the machine or computer. G equals good numbers chosen equals 10. To win, you choose 10 good winning numbers out of the 20 numbers randomly generated. Little Big B is the bad losing numbers possible to choose from. 60, because if there are 20 possible good winning numbers to choose from and 80 numbers overall, then 80 minus 20 equals 60 bad losing numbers to choose from. B equals the bad numbers chosen. Well, if we get all, if we win the jackpot, we choose all 10 winning numbers, good numbers, and you choose zero losing bad ones because you only chose 10 numbers. So B is bad numbers chosen, which is zero. T, capital T, is the total numbers possible to choose from. It's always 80. There are always 80 possible numbers to choose from in the Kino lottery. T equals total numbers chosen is 10. You always choose 10 numbers no matter if they are winning or losing numbers. Plugging in the variables, probably win the Kino lottery is probably get 10 numbers from 1 to 80. Hypergeometric equation, probably win the Kino lottery is the ways of choosing the good numbers and the bad numbers divided by the total ways of choosing all the numbers overall. And if we plug in the numbers into the formula, we can see that probably win the lottery is 20 choose 10 over times 60 choose 0 over 80 choose 10. Remember, 20 plus 60 adds up to 80, 10 plus 0 adds up to 10. The top numbers have to add up to the 80, the, the top number in the denominator. And the top numbers in the bottom of the numerator have to add up to the bottom number in the denominator. And when you solve this using factorials, it comes out to be there's about a 1 in 8,911,711 chance of winning the lottery. Probably win the Kino jackpot where all 10 of your numbers are winning numbers is 1 out of 8,911,711. So this is very unlikely, but as you have to get fewer and fewer numbers to get only four numbers it's very likely that you will get four numbers five numbers is less likely than four numbers six is less likely than five but it's just a calculation based on statistics so if you're interested in this book check out the chances of winning Kino by carlo di carlo on amazon retails for 299 as an ebook Hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you.